everyone, welcome back. So today I have a video that I haven't done this year yet. Dun dun dun! And that's absolutely insane because I used to do 100% once a month at least. And that, telling by the title, is a Primark haul. Yeah! I'll tell you why the reason is. So there's a couple of things. I shop in Primark when I can and it kind of built up and I thought oh these this these bits won't be in the store anymore that kind of thing and ever since I've had my little Rupert bear I wasn't sure that I was allowed to take him in there because most sh most shops in London I can take him in there if I carry him I have found so I tweeted I was like guys do you know if you're allowed to take dogs in Primark if you carry them blah 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 um, a couple people were like, oh, I've seen some people carrying a dog, that kind of thing. So I gave it a go. There's no point in trying to like sneak them in and hide them because they're a dog and you have to like let them see things. So we walked in, you know, bold as brash or whatever the phrase is. And we just strolled in and I smiled at the security guard. He stroked Rupert and we went on in. So it was jolly good. And I've been in a few times now. So I went... I'd say twice in the past two weeks, so those are the bits that I'm going to show you today, so they'll still be in store more than likely, rather than showing you things that I've got, that I've already worn around the house and things that won't necessarily be in the shops. So, as always, everything that I've got today was purchased in the Tottenham Court Road Primark in London, it's my all-time favourite one, you guys are probably aware of this. So, I am going to get cracking with what is not in the bag, and that's four mugs. So I, I, <laughs> I don't drink tea or coffee and it's not hot chocolate season really anymore, but I love mugs. I love mugs for things other than drinking out of, so any types of storage or just display purposes, but also, you know, if anyone wants to visit and they want, but they're not going to use these ones because these are nice. <laughs> So they were all £1.50 or 90p each because some of them were kind of half price. So first one I got is this one and this one just says morning sunshine in like the skinny font, we all know the one. Um, so that is just a really nice basic, very, very Instagram, you know the things. So that is the first one and then the second one, how could I not get this? There is a little pug on it. This looks to be quite a young pug, but not as squishy or chubbly or as young as Rupert is. So I had to get this one because anything pug themed, I'm like, yes, that is mine. And then the next two are both the same but different colours and they are just these two. So this one is grey and this one is pink and they are just made out of triangles. My dad gave it a proper name because he's a maths man. Um, but we're just going to go with triangles today because that's what we all know. We all know a triangle when we see one. So let's see if I can pick this up. It has awoken my doge. Let me see. It is so big. So this was £17, so quite pricey for Primark. However, as I always say, if this were in Topshop and it were you know, 48 pounds, 36 pounds, whatever, I'd still buy it. So what it is, is it's, from the back it looks like a trench, but it's not got the um, D-ring tie, and it's essentially a sleeveless jacket. So a sleeveless waistcoat jacket, and it's duster, so it's about calf length, or just short, well, I'm quite tall, so, uh, maybe like knee length just a bit longer and it's pink but the camera's picking up as like corally peach but it is pale pink and what I mean by it looks like a trench at the back is it's got that little layer there at the back and they do have a black one but I have a black sleeveless jacket already and I love these at the moment and I think they're perfect for spring and summer and layering and that kind of thing so that is my first item and I really love it it's the best I enjoy it very, very much. Next up, these were actually sold separately, but I bought like two of them. Quite clearly I did that. Um, they were about £1.50 each. They have like a pet section. Um, so I got these. Oh, I've got them on different. Oh, this is stress. Oh, it's okay. Um, and they're essentially just to dry. Dry your dog. So 
I can either use them for when he's been in the back garden and it might have been raining, I can wipe his little paws, or after his bath I can like shimmy him, um, and that kind of thing. Next up, absolutely love these. I actually thought this was a midi skirt at first, but I just was really drawn to the pattern. But they're actually culottes. Look, leg action, or like inner leg, aka crotch. So leg action here, so they're actually culottes. So there's none of the uh, blowing of the wind situations, but I just thought they were really nice and a wearable version of culottes. Obviously all culottes are wearable, but I'm not a very out there person, so I need mine to be a bit more subtle. Um, so I absolutely love those. The price is no longer on them, but I think they're about £12, these ones. They fit really nicely and they've got a uh, stretchy back. And um, yeah, I love those and I can't wait to wear them when the weather gets a bit warmer. We're having fluctuations of warm and cold days, so when it gets warmer I can get the legs out. Next up, got a three pack of tea towels. These are just black and white with like forks and knives and then a plain black one. And then, uh, yeah, just got some tea towels. I know you can never have enough tea towels. If you live alone, you'll understand. Next up, this is the best. I've been wearing this as a pyjama jumper, so I've been sleeping in it with pyjama bottoms. And it's a grey crew neck Friends sweatshirt. Friends is like life. I grew up on Friends. I still love Friends to this day. I quote it probably daily. I am a mixture of all three ladies and probably the men. Um, <laughs> But this was about £8. They also do a t-shirt of this for £6 as well. But I just really like the sweatshirt and just thought it was really nice and casual. But I love that they're having the Friends merchandise in there. And they also have um, some Friends canvas bags and that kind of thing. I love that Primark has a lot of brand merch. They've got a lot of Frozen things. They've got Friends things. They've got loads of Disney stuff. It's just brilliant. Next up, next up, I got this. So I saw these on the mannequin and this might actually go back because normally with shirts I go a size up so I think this is a 14, yeah it's the 14 and it fits really odd. I absolutely love it and I loved how it looked but it just fits really strange, it just tugs on tights around the breast area and then everywhere else it's just like constricted and it's quite, it's quite a big shirt so it, I just don't know, I don't think it's cut. Just try it on. <laughs> I got this because ever since I've moved, which was like mid-January, I've not had a bath. <laughs> no. Um, you know when you shower? What are they called? Just a sponge or a loof. One of these. One of these. I ain't had one of these and I've just been using my hands and stuff but I've missed using one and this was just really pretty. It looks like a bunch of French knickers, do we not think? I think it does. And it was a pound. So uh, yeah, back home, they always used to unravel because I was like, oh, yeah. But we're gonna we're gonna try and keep this one together. So I got some sunglasses. These were three pounds. They are white. Look like this. Just just like them. Just thought I'd get them. You know. This next item, I'm actually gonna insert a clip of me wearing it now. This is a. Another sleeveless jacket, but it's quite a short one, and it has got the D-ring middle, and it is more fitted and tailored, and I absolutely love it. And again, this was £17, but I just feel that it does not look like it's... Well, I think that most things now don't look typical Primark. I don't know what that connotation is. I always feel like I say that. I'm like, it doesn't look Primark. But I feel that this could be Zara or... Do you see what I mean? I just really love it. I wouldn't change anything about it. Actually, I would. I'd make the um, tie bits a bit longer because it's like a little small knot, but I absolutely love this. And I also do it in white, but I just prefer the black one. So the black one I got, and I also got the long sleeved white top that I was also wearing in that clip from Primark that time. That was about five pounds, but that's just a basic. So I wasn't going to show you that one. I got a makeup sponge, an egg one. I recently got the Real Techniques one and I love it. So this will be my travel one because this was £1.50 and that was £5. I absolutely love it. I know they'll probably be very different in how they work and things like that. But I'm excited to try this and see how it differs. Pug socks. This is a three pack pair of pug socks all wearing glasses and bow ties. Which is just Rupert. 
That is Rupert. There he is. That's him. That is him. And this, I'm sorry, don't judge me. Uh, this is a, a glasses case. And I'll probably use this as an actual glasses case, not a sunglasses case, because I do, I'm a glasses wearer, but I majority of, the majority of the time I wear my contact lenses, but when I'm at home, I wear my glasses, because they're so much more comfortable, and this is great. But I just thought it was really sweet, and they're doing the little head tilt. Makeup sharpener, one pound. Okay, guys, so one of the reasons that I was so desperate to go to Primark was because I've been seeing, I think on two people's Instagrams, I can't think who, but that they've got these shoes from Primark. And I thought, oh my goodness, I have to track these down. They do these everywhere, but they range from like so expensive to not what I want in life. <laughs> or not like, let's, let's start again. Not exactly how I would like them. Yes, people, yes. So these, where did these come from? I was speaking to Arabella and Arabella was like, where did they come from? I like them, but where? Suddenly everyone has these things, but I really love them. They are black, faux suede, pointy, flat shoes, and they're kind of like high tops. And then we've got all the uh, crisscross action going on. Mine are in a size six and were, they were, 10 pounds which I thought was brilliant and they also have a zip at the back they are so comfortable but I'm just thinking like I burn quite badly and I don't tan I burn uh, so I may get some interesting patternage on my feet but I also got this pair which they're calling nude but it's kind of off-white exactly the same 10 pounds again I just thought they were so sweet and I think that for people that are more tanned and of a darker skin tone that would look absolutely gorgeous but you know I'm basically this colour already. <laughs> this is in such a random order, I'm so sorry. I got this ice cube tray. Uh, it's in the shape of a pineapple. And then the ice cubes are pineapples as well. And it was £1.50. I've got, I've already got two ice trays in my freezer and they're in the shapes of Mickey and Minnie Mouse. They're brilliant. The reason I love ice cubes is because they last, they, they make you drink cold, obviously. But Rupert loves them. If I put an ice cube on the floor, he will not only play with it, chase it, lick it, he'll eat it, and it's the better drink, but it gives him like so much hours of entertainment and he loves them. But also like when I entertain in summertime, I can have my, uh, my pineapple, pineapple ice cubes. I got, I've not used these yet, which I really need to. I got a lint roller with refill for £1.50 because obviously with Rupert, I get covered in his little hairs, especially. Obviously, I wear a lot of black. So, um, yeah, dog hairs and black. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this. I'm so excited to just keep going and show you everything. I got this, which is a little makeup bag. These always come in handy. I have so many of these, but I could not pass up this one. This is so everything that I love. I love Disney, but I love when it's the black and white and the kind of sketch of it. I am just obsessed, so this is absolutely perfect, and it was probably about two pounds, one pound fifty, that kind of thing. Absolutely love that. As I said, they have so many Disney things, and it's just magic. Got some tights. These are wrong though. These are the glossy tights, sun kissed, and I didn't want that because uh, they make my legs look sparkly. You can have sparkly legs if you want to, but I don't wear them for that purpose. But uh, never mind, eh? So I'm gonna do some of the little bits that I have and then do the final two pairs of shoes. So I've just got some hairbands. I typically get these about once every few months because I just lose them and this is a pound. Okay, so you know that I love the Primark PS Love makeup line. So I have never seen them do, I've seen the foundation stick and you know I love the foundation stick to use as concealer and that kind of thing, but I've seen I saw, sorry, the liquid foundation and I saw it in light. So they had like a huge range of colours, but I didn't see the palest one, but then I found this. So I'm really excited to try this and let you know how it is. And it is £2.50 and it says oil-free formula enriched with vitamin E, semi-matte, medium coverage foundation. So I am very excited to try this. And then I've got a foundation stick, which I just said I love, but... I got this one in dark, 
You may be like Becca. You ain't dark. I know I'm not dark, people. Look at it though. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Blend, blend, blend. Isn't that going to be perfect? So again, so excited to try this for that. I think that would be the perfect. It's like the um. Oh my gosh, words fail me. I don't know. You know the thing I'm on about, like the mul map multiple. Is it by Nars? I don't know. See, I'm not in. I can't. I can't deal with that. So this was my one pound fifty version of it. And then I got this nail polish and it's just a long wear nail polish in nude pink. And this is my favourite shade to wear on my nails at the moment. And then I find, oh, hair grips. Oh, and I also got this mirror, which is a French bulldog, but they're also very precious. And it's just its little silhouette. I just thought it was really nice and you can't ever have too many mirrors. And uh, ooh, as always, hello everybody, what's your name? Next up, so as I said, I have two pairs of shoes and I am trying to get more colourful item. You, you, you know, doesn't like them. But I am trying to get some more colourful items and I figured maybe I could start from the bottom or just start from smaller accessory bits. So I got these and I love them. They're so comfortable and I love them so much. They are... I, no, I don't. I was going to say, I wish they were a bit paler, but we don't know. Becca, come on. Embrace these. They are, I know some people hate kitten heels. Would these count as kitten heels, probably? I know some people hate that, but I don't mind. Uh, these are just slingbacks and pointy. They're faux suede. They were about £10. Yeah, £10, exactly. And I really like them. And I guess that's all that matters, isn't it? And then, these ones I can't walk in as well, you'll see why. These were £12. As I was sitting down by the shoe area where like you try them on and you can sit down, I was like, Mum, look at my shoe, she was like, too high, too high. I was like, not for walking in, just for like sitting down shoes and photograph shoes. And she was like, okay. She was like, oh, try them on. I tried them on, she was like, get them, you look really nice. And I was like, okay, thank you. These. I thought they were like so nice. I thought they were so nice. They are again pointy, but they are white and matte faux leather. Heel is a block chunky heel. They're not too, too hard to walk in, but I just can't. It's it's not a thing. Some people think, yeah, right. No, I really can't. A while ago, I was on a shoot. They were like, Becca, you're up. And I was like, okay. And I was coming and they were like, Becca, you're up. And I was like, I'm coming! And I was still coming because I couldn't walk. I was like, shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. So uh, that was, oh, we're finished. We're finished. Oh. So that was my Primark haul, my first Primark haul of 2015 and we're already in mid-April. That's stupid of me. But I love everything I got and I hope you like it too. Let me know if you've seen anything in Primark lately that you think I would like and let me know what your favourite thing is and what you want. What do you want, people? What do you want? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!